In this video, I want to demonstrate how to add cutter compensation to our tool path. So what have we done so far? We took the finished tool and we told it to program this profile by programming the center of the cutter coordinates. And that works great, but the question would come up, well, what if we change the tool and we have a reground end mill and it's now three or four or five or even 10 thou too small? Well, if that's the case, we're going to use what's called wear compensation. And to add cutter comp, we're going to have to tweak our program just a little bit. So I'm going to insert a line here. And on this line, I'm going to add G42, D04, and then I'm going to repeat the X1.572. And I'm also going to make a note, so I'll put the round brackets in, that says D04 equals zero. And then I'm going to say comma that it's wear compensation. So this note says, as long as the tools ground on size and the parts the correct size, leave the cutter comp value set to zero. Let's take a little more in depth look at this. So G42, what does that say? Well, to figure that out, I have to look at my cutter and see where the part is. So if I look at this edge of the part, the cutter center is to the right of this part edge. And it also is important the direction the cutter is going, and the cutter is traveling in this direction. If the cutter were traveling in this direction, the cutter would be to the left of the part profile. But we're traveling in this direction, so the cutter centers to the right of the part profile. And G42 says compensate the center of the cutter to the right of any X and Y values I give you from this point forward. Well, how much should it compensate to the right? Well, by the amount found in diameter offset 4. Just like we can store height offsets, we can store diameter offsets. And then I'm telling it the X coordinate. I'm also putting a note here for me and anyone who reads this program that I'm using the wear compensation. So initially, the value set in D04 is 0. If the tool's on size, it'll cut fine. If it's reground and it's 10 thou under size, I'll put 5 or 10 thou here, depending on if my machine's set to diameter or radius mode. So that turns on the wear compensation, and then down here we have our G40, which will cancel it. The next thing I want to do is come up to my starting X coordinate, and I'm going to add 100,000 and change this to 1.672. And the reason I do that is many machines need to physically move that cutter just a little bit when they pick up cutter comp, and this will allow for a small amount of movement, 100,000. I'm also, when I apply cutter comp, only moving one axis. Some machines don't do well if we move two axes at the same time, but they all seem to handle moving one axis and one axis only when applying cutter comp. So that's a look at how we used wear cutter compensation. And in the next video, we'll look at cutter compensation where we program the part geometry and tell the machine to worry about the center of the cutter.